I guess one of the reasons why, why I was invited is because I've done a lot of work in identity and language learning over the years. But um, more recently, I've been looking more at, um, well, resources that are available to promote language learning and multilingualism. Because I'm in the Department of Faculty of Education, and we are being asked, well, it's enough to talk, we also need to do. And um, so I've been working on open access resources that are available for children and youth, um, not only in the Canadian context, but also in the African context and the worldwide context. And because the materials are digital and open access, they are freely available and can be shared. So I'm very excited about that, and I love the opportunity to spread the word about that work. It's um, globalstorybooks.net, one word, global storybooks. But uh, the question also is connected to issues of identity, because this is a conference on multilingualism and identity. So the question that is raised, raised how does this connect you know, to issues of identity? And um, Funny enough, I was thinking of Mandela. I'm from South Africa originally, and Mandela often talks about uh, how you can connect to people through the language that is familiar with them. And uh, now I think we live in a world, a multilingual world, and if we want the world to be a just place, if we want to make sure people can contribute to society in ways that make sense to them, um, not only do we need to recognize the languages that people speak, but also ensure that there are resources available for people to become literate in that language, because otherwise your ability to kind of um, contribute to society is compromised. So, so there is that, that connection between language and identity, that when, you, when your language is valued, um, you also feel as a person that you are valued as well. Uh, but the beauty of actually becoming literate in the mother tongue is that then to learn a second language is enhanced. And this is something that um, people don't always understand. If you want to learn a language of power, whether it's English or French or German or Chinese, um, it's really helpful to be literate in the mother tongue. So, so in fact, you know, literacy and multilingual literacy um, actually is, uh, is a very positive force in society. And, um, and what we need are the resources to, to help that take place. So, um, so the quick question now in this conference, we actually are debating concepts of multilingual identity. What does it mean to have a, a multilingual identity? Um, some people think that um, to have a multilingual identity, you have to be fluent in each language. And uh, that's not necessarily the case. Um, you know, to have a familiarity with the language, to have a uh, sensitivity to its structures, um, to its written forms, uh, already gives you some some sense of that language, uh, and I think that with resources, you know, people get excited. I was thinking, you know, when you when you learn another language, as all of us have actually, most of us have learned another language, but we find that we learn more about our own language by learning other languages, and that's very exciting, because when you learn it, when you're a mother tongue speaker, um, you don't necessarily know what is unique about your language. But when you learn other languages, you suddenly realize, oh, that's, you know, we have different ways of conceptualizing this idea, or we write, you know, from right to left, not left to right. And um, it's, um, it's quite liberating to understand uh, how languages are constructed and um, the role of our language in society.